Is Blue Weti a good brand to look at for power stations? That's what we're going to discuss here in this video. I'm Ben. This is the Minuteman Prep YouTube channel, and I'm all about being ready at a moment's notice whenever possible. Now, it is my firm belief that the grid is extremely weak, and it can be taken out easily in many ways. So because of that, I personally believe that it's really important to have backup power. Now, the simplest and most affordable option is to get a gas generator, but that means you're limited on how long that fuel is going to last because if a power outage is, say, a week or two, it's really difficult to store that much gasoline without it going bad. Give it a year and that fuel needs to be swapped out for fresh fuel. So it's an ongoing cost. I much prefer to have a solar generator or a solar power station. Don't get mixed up in the name of it all. The sun comes up every day. The question really is, is there going to be clouds in the way of the sun, which is going to impede how good the solar input is? That's why it's so important that solar generators have high solar input. A Bluetti has been in the game for many, many years. I've been buying Bluetti since they had these briefcase looking units that were quite heavy, but they were actually some of the best units on the market. Now, in my opinion, not really much has changed because they still have very portable units as well as some massively large, powerful units that can run a whole house. They have a huge lineup of different solar generators, everything from their EB3A, which is a really small power station that you can take with you for charging your laptop, drone, DC fridge, whatever, all the way up to the EP900, which is a grid interactive system that backs up your house and can even offset your bill every day using solar. Everything in between from the AC180, the AC200, the 200 Max, AC300, AC500, they have so many units. In fact, in my opinion, I think they actually have too many units because there are so many, it can make it complicated to decide. So my recommendation is if you want a powerful off-grid system, look at the EP800. If you want a powerful portable system, look at the AC300. And if you want a really portable system that has enough power, look at the AC200 series. Now you'll notice behind me, I don't have a Blue Eddy on this rack, and that's because I'm actively using my Blue Eddies all the time. You can even see here under my desk that I use this as a UPS. And ironically, you can see other power stations over here that I'm not using, but this is one that I've come to rely on. This is the Elite 200 V2. It works very well. I get power interruptions here at my house sometimes. So having all of my equipment plugged into this, like a UPS, means that I don't lose power to my laptop and my monitor, Wi-Fi, crypto mining, and all of those different things. See, this is my little crypto miner and it heats up my office and it makes me a little bit of money every day. And I keep it backed up off of this Blue Eddy unit. I've purchased lots of different Blue Eddy units, all the way from those older briefcase ones, then including their AC series, such as the AC 180, AC 200, AC 300, AC 500. I've personally purchased all of those with my own money. And if you go and watch my videos, the number one issue that I've had with Blue Eddy is their customer service. And I brought that up with Blue Eddy over the years, and they've completely fixed that. Every time I call Blue Eddy, I get through to someone, and it used to not be that case. Now they have enough people on staff that can handle my questions and answer the phone quickly when I need help. In fact, let's give them a call. Where's my phone? In fact, let's give them a phone call right now. I'm just on their website. Here's their 800 number. It says Monday to Saturday, 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Let's see how long this takes. Hi, my name is Ben. I had a quick question on the AC300. I was wondering about the solar mm -hmm. input. If I happen to be below the 150 volt rating for solar input, but just a little bit over on the mm -hmm. amperage, is there going to be a problem with doing that? Um, nothing. No. Nope. Would be fine. Okay. Perfect. That's all I needed to know. Thank you very much. Bye. So it took about 30 seconds to get through the queue and then about 15 seconds for all of the whatever it said to get to the agent. And then it took them about three seconds to get to answer the phone. So that is absolutely incredible. That used to be my number one complaint about Blue Eddy, And now I basically realized I don't really have any complaints. I just realized I've actually never had an issue with my Blue Eddies. With all of my systems, my solar input has always been good. The battery expandability has always been pretty easy. The only thing that really hung me up was the little slider buttons. They have to be pushed in as an engaged. And I didn't think that was a very good design because it was really easy to just have that get pushed. Their efficiency is not bad and it's not great. It's always in like the higher 80% range. 
but their pricing has always been pretty fair. Actually, if you go to my free comparison chart, I'll put a link down below. You can go and look at all the Bluetti units that I have listed there. And if you scroll down to the bottom, there's a collection of what the average price for the whole system is, factoring in the inverter, battery, and solar. That way it's a true, honest, apples to apples comparison. Because if you just compare battery, then the solar input could suck and then the unit is not worth it. So that's why I like to compare inverter, battery, and solar, because that's really what makes up a power station. And if you go and look, they consistently have a really good pricing on their units. I think I've personally purchased about six of their units, and then they've also sent me units to review. I don't have a shortage of units, so it's not like I'm getting any major benefit. There's not some sweet swindly deal for me to give them a positive review. I've just not had any issues. The, the question that I asked the customer service guy was if I put too many amps on, is that gonna be a problem? And a lot of people don't understand that. A simple thing with charge controllers is you don't ever wanna exceed the voltage, but if you go over on the amperage, it just throttles it down to the range that it can handle. But there are other companies, when you ask them technical questions like that, they get very hung up and have to go ask their manager or whoever to find out the answer. Now, the other thing is Bluetti runs sales all the time. So it's pretty easy to wait for a sale or find a sale that's going on and take advantage of any discounts on their units. And their units are stout. I've used them upside down and on their sides. Obviously, you don't want to block any ventilation that's on them. But for example, at my off-grid cabin, I needed some backup power and I needed an AC200P to fit underneath my bed. That was where I can plug everything and run my whole cabin. The problem is the bed is a little low to the ground. And so I had no option other than to lay it on its back and slide it under the bed and then plug everything into it. No problem. And the point that they factor in battery expandability into most of their units is great because I always want to have the option to add to my system. I don't really ever like the option of buying a system, being stuck with it, and not being able to add to it. Now that's not so much of an issue for the smaller units, but really for the bigger units like the AC300, 500, the EP series, all of that has great expandability enough to truly run a house comfortably at minimum all of the essentials, and in many cases, more than the essentials. So I simply wanted to say to Bluetti, awesome job, you guys are freaking killing it because your customer service is great, your pricing is great, and I have literally never had a problem with one of their units. I've never had to send one back, I've never had a component fail on any of my systems, and so their quality control has to be really good at Bluetti. Now I'm gonna do a review of other brands as well, just like I'm doing here, and I will tell you that multiple brands, high-level brands that are direct competitors to Bluetti, in many cases, I've had to return my units. In some cases, up to three times to get a unit working with a high-level brand. So to find out who that is, make sure you subscribe to this video. And if you want to see how I'm using my Bluetti Elite 200 V2, watch this video right here. And I'll have any coupon codes or discounts or whatever available in the description down below from Bluetti if you guys are interested in looking at that. But really, it's just give Bluetti a chance. They really do have some good products. The solar input ratings are good. Battery expandability is good. Even some of their batteries have solar input. Their inverter output's great. No system is absolutely perfect. And if you want help finding a system that works best for you, email me at info at poweredportablesolar.com or become a contributor at patreon.com slash minuteman prep and get direct access to me where you and I can chat about whatever is going to be best for you. Thanks guys. Be prepared. See you all in the next video.